I'm Margaret Ewing. Um, I work in the genetic identity research um, and development section. Um, and the work that I have here in the poster is PowerQuant. It's our newest um, product in the quantitation portfolio for uh, the genetic identity customer group. So this is a, a poster about the development of validation of PowerQuant. Um, it is a quantification system that is a four target uh, quantitation system. So there's an autosomal target for total quantification of your sample. There's a Y target to quantify the amount of male DNA in your sample. And then there's a degradation target that's used to assess the integrity of your DNA, as well as an IPC that'll help evaluate whether PCR inhibitors might be present. Um, so um, to do a developmental validation, you evaluate the product in a couple different ways. We did a population study um, to look at the autosomal and uh, Y ratio, as well as the autosomal and degradation ratio. Um, we did a sensitivity study to evaluate the sensitivity of the assay and compare it to um, other products in our STR portfolio. Uh, we did an inhibitor study uh, to evaluate the effects of the inhibitors on the IPC um, and then also compared that to the performance of the uh, PowerPlex fusion in our STR portfolio. Um, we did an evaluation of degraded DNA so we could evaluate the auto to degradation ratio. Um, we also looked at mixture samples uh, to evaluate the autosomal and Y uh, ratios. In general, uh, there's minimal variation in the population um, in the population study. Uh, the sensitivity of the assay is comparable to the STR systems. Um, it's able to detect inhibition um, at or before any effect on the degradation assay. Um, and it is able to detect degraded DNA with the auto to D ratio. Um, and as well as predict um, accurately the um, auto to Y ratio in mixed samples.